In today's video, I'll be exploring which is the best method to install a NVIDIA graphics driver. So obviously you have a couple of different methods available to you. You can either go to the NVIDIA drivers download page and download it straight from, from there and then um, install it with or without GeForce Experience and then do a custom install and take out the NVIDIA HD audio, which I recommend. Or what you could do is you could use software to modify the NVIDIA driver, which apparently gives extra performance. You can use NV Slimmer or NV Clean Store. So on Sunday, I actually did a video on how to optimize the hull out of your GPU, whether it's in your laptop or it's in your desktop. So I actually had a couple of comments saying, I did it wrong, you must use NV Clean Store. So that spurred me on today to make this video. So let's get ready, sit down, strap in, and let's go. Right guys, and that's gonna bring us to our first method, which is installing NVIDIA driver with GeForce Experience. It's not really the one I recommend, but I have to use it at the moment because I record my gameplay with GeForce Experience because you lose very little FPS uh, through GeForce Experience. OBS is very CPU heavy, so you lose quite a lot of FPS. So for benchmarks, it doesn't look that good. But anyways, so for my optimized uh, GeForce Experience NVIDIA driver install, um, I'll show you what I mean by optimized. In GeForce Experience, Yet again, guys, I don't really recommend GeForce Experience unless you're recording gameplay. So you go to the settings over here, and then in general, unless you're recording gameplay, make sure the in-game overlay is off. Make sure battery boost is off. And then just uh, untick GeForce driver updates is available. Untick reward is available. And then untick automatically download driver updates and let me choose when to install. And then yeah, the, the overlay is going to be off and then in games and apps just make sure that automatically optimized newly added games and applications is unticked. So that's what I mean by optimized GeForce Experience install. So when I get to my benchmarks, install with optimized GeForce Experience, you'll see here uh, all my games are tested at medium settings where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available. I use the quality setting. The games I play are all single player games, so that's naturally what I benchmark my games on. Uh, your, your mileage may vary if you play more online, battle royale, uh, shoot, uh, FPS shoot type games, not my baby. And then obviously I'm testing on GTX, not, not RTX, so that also might make a difference. And guys, for, for my testing and my benchmarking, I use 531.68. So for normal install with GeForce Experience uh, optimized, um, I tested nine games. So then my total FPS over nine games was 596. And then when I divide that by nine, my average FPS per game is 66.2. And then when I add up all the 1% lows, I, uh, the 1% lows come to a total of 424. Divide that by nine, so my 1% low average is 47.11. When I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, my stability whilst using GeForce Experience Optimized is 71.12 for this method of installing the NVIDIA driver. It's not great, but it's not the worst in the world. And guys, what you're gonna see over the course of the benchmarks, the average FPS doesn't really change. What does change is the 1% lows. So guys, this is the first method of installer, installing a, a NVIDIA graphics driver. Next, we're gonna get to NV Clean Store. Right, for the next method to install a NVIDIA driver is to use the software NV Clean Store. So obviously what you do is you first uh, run DDU and just clean out your NVIDIA driver. Then you go to, uh, can't, I can't show you my full settings because it's gonna install the driver now and then it's gonna cut out the video, but I'll just show you basically what I use. So let me just open this up. And then, okay, so I manually selected the driver off my desktop because it's there, but just show you here. So I, I basically just installed the display driver. Um, I didn't install physics. 
and then I did NV platform controller because I want my dynamic views to work in the NVIDIA control panel. I can't go to the next video because then it's going to install the drive and it's going to cut out the video. So let's just get to my results. For NV Clean Store, which is very popular amongst other big YouTubers, they recommend this method. Maybe it's good for online games, but for third person games, I find it makes no difference. In fact, you'll see. So all my games are tested at medium settings, where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available, a user quality setting, and then uh, as mentioned, I play mainly single player games, uh, no online uh, FPS games, it's all third person, and then I'm on a GTX card, not RTX, so that might also make a difference, and then obviously I'm using the latest driver via NV Clean Store. So over the nine games, I, average, or I got my average FPS, totaled them up, or added them up, and then it got, gave me a total over 9 games of 590 FPS. Divide that by 9, and my average FPS per game is 65.56. So then I did the same for the 1% lows, added up all of the 1% lows, got to a total, and you can see it's already lower here, uh, of 407, and then I divide that by 9, and then my average 1% low per game is 45.22. And then when I divide 45.22 by the average FPS, it gives me a stability percentage of 68.97. So guys, if you're going to use the software to cut all the junk out of the NVIDIA driver, I don't, I don't recommend NV Clean Saw. There is a better one, but I'll get to that. Right, that brings us to our next set of software that we use to modify the NVIDIA driver and cut out the tele telemetry. So for NV Slimmer, unfortunately if I open this, it's going to load the driver and it's going to cut the feed. So yeah, uh, the settings I use, I just installed the core driver and then also uh, NVIDIA, I can't, what's the word, dynamic platform or controller. So just to ensure that my dynamic boost works in NVIDIA control panel. And guys, if you are going to use the software to install and modify NVIDIA driver, I recommend you use NV Slimmer, and I'll show you why. So just let's get through the formalities. All games are tested at medium settings, where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available. I use a quality setting. Uh, I play single player games, no online uh, battle games, FPS games, and then obviously I use a GTX, not an RTX card, and I'm using the latest driver. So over the nine games, I added it up, and then my total FPS over nine games was 593, and I divide that by nine, and I get 65.89 as my average FPS per game. Then I do the same for the 1% lows, add up all the 1% lows, and it gives me a total 1% low of 423, divide that by nine, and it gives me an average 1% low of 47. So when I divide 47 by 65.89, it gives me a stability of 71.3 when loading a video driver with NV Slimmer. So guys, if you're going to use the software to, to modify your driver, I recommend you actually use NV Slimmer. But that's not the best performer. So let's get to the last step. Right guys, and that brings us to the last method of installing an uh, NVIDIA driver, and it's actually the method I recommend, is just go to the NVIDIA drivers page, download the latest driver, or whichever driver you want, straight from the NVIDIA drivers page, and then once you have downloaded the driver, just run as administrator, install without GeForce Experience, do a custom install, and then take out, make sure that there's no GeForce Experience, and there's no NVIDIA HD audio. And I'll show you why. So, yet again, all my games are tested at medium settings, where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available. I use a quality setting. All my games are single player games, third person. I use a GTX card, not RTX, so your mileage might vary a little bit. And then I use the latest driver. So when I add up all the average FPS, uh, over nine games, my total FPS is 592, divided by nine, and my average FPS per game is 65.77. So what you can see is over all these methods, the average FPS doesn't change much. But the more important um, uh, performance determinant is actually the 1% low. So when I divide, uh, when I add up all the 1% the lows for this method, my, my total 1% lows over 9 games is 427, which, is, which you can see is slightly higher than the rest. And when I divide that by 9, 
my average one percent lows of 47.44 when i divide 47.44 by the average fps it gives me a stability of 72.13 percent so guys there's not much in it but you can see this is actually the way that the drivers are the most stable so by modifying the driver the thing is it makes the driver slightly unstable so what's the point you're getting the same average fps but you're getting slightly you're getting slightly higher one percent lows when you just do a custom drive install no geforce experience no hd audio and guys i'm not lying to you this literally took nine hours because doing the shader compilation for the last of us i've got a little quad core laptop it takes an hour each time i install a driver a different method doing the shader compilation for uncharted legacy of thieves takes 45 minutes so i put a lot of effort into this so trust me when i say when you install the nvidia driver just download it from the drivers page run as administrator no geforce experience custom install take out the hd audio and just install your driver like that anyways all right guys thank you so much for watching if you do have any questions please hit me up in the comment section if you don't agree with me or shout at me like swear at me in the comment section but just engage please and other than that if you're still watching you haven't subscribed now's the time to do so guys thank you so much for watching again enjoy the rest of your day it's people like you cheers